Oof. Baby, I knew I was gonna be able to get to this question sooner or later. Somebody was gonna ask it. And if they weren't gonna ask it, I was gonna make it up. Do you recommend curly cuts? What is a curly cut? I know what it is. Um, it's a gimmick. A curly cut is a gimmick because that's just what y'all heard. And it's defined by um, going in and cutting one curl at a time, right? It even sounds gimmicky, but I guess it sounds okay in theory and it's very attractive to people with curly hair or people who swear by it. From what I understand, it's, it's, kind, it, it's half a haircut. One curl at a time is not how the hair grows out of your head. Your hair grows out of your head one follicle at a time. And they make up and represent the entire head of hair and hair texture or type of that you have that's unique to you, right? And depending upon the pattern that God gave you will determine how all of those strands loop and form its unique curl or coil and or wave. You can't simply go in and cut one curl at a time when there's a thousand hair strands that you didn't cut. And or what if you have hair that is down in the interior of the hair that you haven't cut? So ultimately you didn't cut all the hair. And there's only two reasons to pick up scissors, to maintain the health of each strand and to leave you with a shape of your choosing. And if I can't accomplish those two things, then I need my license revoked. We all learn how to cut hair. And if you've thought enough about every hair texture as a stylist, regardless of whether you um, were taught or told anything about kinky or curlier textures in um, cosmetology school, which you probably weren't, it is becoming of you to have the knowledge as a professional to be able to cater to all hair textures. But I digress because they know every, not everybody's doing that. But the consumer does demand it. And so unfortunately, uh, what comes along sometime is as a result of half of the textures never being mentioned is this very gimmick approach to cutting hair. I'm under the assumption and, and the uh, feedback that I get uh, from thousands of women over the last 30 something years was that they want their hair to be healthy so they can wear it however they choose without judgment. And so when someone goes natural or is on their natural hair journey or on their curly hair and crinky hair journey, um, what they want is knowledge about how they can have the most versatile hair texture. And when you get that curly cut, it remember it was developed by someone who had one hair type. They had curly hair. And she had introduced that technique to all hair textures, which is again a one size, one size fits all approach to hair, which leaves women out in the cold who want to wear their hair straight, who want to do other styles and or who want their hair to grow quicker. And if you don't cut all the hair, then one strong strand will split and turn it into two or three weak strands and that hair will grow nowhere fast. So you might notice that your hair looks great the first day and three months from now it hasn't grown any because you still have hair that is popping off off of the ends and or you can't seem to get your hairline to stop being so frizzy or you can't stop the rest of your hair to being so unruly or unkept and or you blow it out one day and it looks like a hot mess. So the curly cut is like going to the dentist and getting every other tooth cleaned. It's half of a haircut. I would do that haircut after, that portion of the haircut after I went and it technically shaped the hair and trimmed it and got all, make sure that all the ends had been clipped. And you want the same thickness from root to end on every hair of your head, on every hair on your head, regardless of length and or shape, right? The same length or shape. The hair from thickness from the root to the end should be the same thickness. And I should be able to account when I'm cutting your hair for the multiple textures that you have on one head. We all learn how to cut hair, but it's not, you know, com some common sense is not common. So good luck with that curly cut. Um, I don't cut curly cut, like I don't, I don't subscribe to the curly cut. Um, I, I, I take a more, more, a much more customizable approach to the hair that's sitting in front of me. And I cut it based off of that hair texture, which is, as you well know, 
as many shades of a people as we are are as many hair textures as there are. So if uh, that seems to be the most common sense approach.